Today is Wednesday. It is 11.43. I actually went to the gym this morning. It took all my willpower to get out of bed and go to the gym. I just forced myself to walk straight to it and it actually wasn't that bad. I went on the treadmill and the Stairmaster and just did some easy leg stuff. And then I came back, I showered, slathered my body in coconut oil, <laughs> and then I just did my makeup. And now I'm gonna um, eat and do some work. So today is just like a pretty standard day. I have two classes today and I'm just like doing some general work. I have a lot of things due on Monday. I have an essay due tomorrow. So you're gonna see me in that process but I'm kind of hungry right now. So let me go get something to eat. I just straightened my hair, got it all done and ready. I I like it, but it is, like I said in the last vlog, just like an inch too short, but that's okay. It'll grow, whatever, who cares? Um, So I'm just getting ready for class. I have to leave in like, I don't know, like 15 minutes or so. And actually I am going to work tonight after my second class. So I have to pack my work clothes. I wasn't gonna work. But they called me in and asked me if I wanted to work. And because I'm such a good employee, I was like, sure, why not? I need money. So, yeah, I have to go to work. So I'm bringing my work clothes. And really, I don't even need my laptop um, for the classes. I just needed to do work in between the classes and at home. And, yeah, that's really all I need. I'm bringing my purse because, like, I need my purse and my wallet and my keys. But otherwise, nothing, nothing too exciting going on right now. I'm just... About to head to class. Get in there. And you saw for breakfast, I had that protein smoothie. I got like some protein powder just because I've been wanting some for a while for after I work out and just, you know, get me some protein in my day. And it was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, protein powders I tried before just don't taste good. But that one wasn't too bad. So I'm, you know, I'm getting those gains, getting those muscles. <laughs> Um, yeah, now I'm just waiting to leave for class because it's literally right across the street, so I don't want to leave too early, but, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I am so freaking tired. It just like hit me out of nowhere. Do you ever just get like hit with a wave of exhaustion? Cause that's me right now. And I really wish I didn't take this shift for work tonight. Cause all I want to do is crawl in my bed and take a nap. So my car gave me a little pop-up that said low tire pressure and I'm driving and I feel it. It, do you hear that? What the heck? It feels like my car is like dragging and I have no way of putting in air right now. So, um, let's hope my wheels don't deflate. <laughs> Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Uh, you know what's going to put me in a better mood? This is what I've been doing recently and um, it's been really putting me in a better mood. So, playing those 2010 top hits, you know. 
another story Something to get off my chest My life is kind of boring Need something that I can't confess So tell me what you want to hear Bruno Mars is a bop, let's be honest. Oh, her eyes, her eyes make the stars look like they're not shining. Her hair, her hair falls perfectly without her trying. She's so beautiful, and I tell her every No, uh, don't you dare sneak in there. I was here first. Oh. Yeah, she went like that. Like, thank you for letting me in. Um, I didn't. It's so, it's so. When I see your face. There's not a thing that I would change Cause you're amazing Just the way you are Shawty's like a melody in my head That I can't keep out, got me singing like Na 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 every day It's like my iPod suck on replay, replay Shawty's like a melody in my head that I can't This was legit my bop when I was like 13. Remember the first time was met you was at the mall with your friends. I was scared to approach her but then you came closer. That girl is the gun to my holster and she's running in my mind all day. Oh my god my wheel is like falling off. I don't know what. Why is my wheel pressure like non-existent? I'm scared. I don't even I don't even know what it looks like. It could be completely deflated right now. I'm scared. I have to drive over 30 minutes. I have to drive like 45 minutes and I can't pull over anywhere. Mm. This is gonna be me right now because I'm gonna crash because of my tire, so yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, do you hear it? That's not the road, that is my wheel. That is legit my wheel. I'm scared. I'm gonna pull over right here. Are you actually kidding me? My wheel is on the ground. Oh my God, somebody stabbed my tires. Oh my God. Mom? Yeah? One of my tires, I think, got slashed. What? There's like, I don't know, well, first of all, it said low air pressure, and then yeah. my car started like chugging, and I got really scared, and it Where didn't, that? like, it might just be that it like ripped or popped, but there's like three, it looks like it got like stabbed, you know? Hmm. My whole tire's on the ground, like my hubcap is rolling on the ground. Okay, take a picture of it. I can't, I have to go to work, what am I gonna do? Well, you work at six, we'll come and get you. We'll figure out your tire, we're not gonna leave your car there. Do I have to call AAA or something? I don't know. Take a picture and I'll call you right back. All right, bye. Update from this horrible angle, but um, basically my parents came. Now they're sitting in my car waiting for the people to come and repair the tire. And I took my mom's car to go to work because she still is making me go to work. Um, I mean, like, obviously I, I do have to go to work. I don't even know if I'm probably going to be late, but... I'm just really stressed out and I feel like this is a situation that my work would understand like your tires flat it got stabbed like that's fine if you don't want to come in but still going to work and I'm freaking starving and I know I'm not gonna have enough time to get food so I don't even know what I'm gonna do I'm just in a bad mood right now you know I'm in a bad mood I'm hungry I'm tired I don't want to go to work and my tire got stabbed so I'm stuck in pretty bad traffic right now um and I wish there was a Chipotle on the side of the road that I could get, but there's not. <laughs> okay, so let's summarize the situation. So as you saw, um, my car said low air pressure and I went out of the garage and everything and I felt the churning and so I pulled over and I looked at my tire and it was flat. So the first thing I noticed was like the two puncture marks in the wheel that automatically made me think that like, Someone stabbed it, but like I didn't want to jump to conclusions and I couldn't see like the rest of the tire because it was like flat on the ground and so By this point 
of time. I know for sure my tire was stabbed and here's why. Basically, I called roadside assistance and I called my parents. My parents came down and because I had to go to work, my mom switched cars with me. So she stayed and waited for the roadside assistance and then I took her car home. So when they came to fix my tire, they like took it off, put on the spare. And when they could like see my full tire, they found five punctures in the tire, five separate stabs basically. And I know stabbing sounds weird, slash stab, but if your tire is flat or it gets popped, it's usually because you run over something and the puncture would be on the edge of the wheel, you know, like where the tracks are on like the curved part that hits the ground. And it wouldn't be on the side of the wheel. Even if I hit something that was like sharp and it impaled like the side of my wheel, which I know I didn't, but if I did, it would create like a stab and then it would like rip the wheel you know because when your wheel starts turning it would get stuck and it would rip it it would not there was nothing i could possibly run into or hit that would make five different puncture marks you know so that's why i know it was stabbed and also the things that confuse me the most are one why five times like if you're gonna pop a tire you usually just like stab it and it's popped like who was angry at me to pop, to stab it five times? Two, why one tire? Once again, if you're going around trying to damage someone's car, you would probably pop all four tires, you know, and then they can't go anywhere. Like, I didn't notice until I pulled over. Three, because I park in a parking garage, I usually park around, like, the same area so I know where my car is, but this time I parked in a really random area. Like, it was, like, not my typical, and it was in a really random spot that someone had to specifically pick out my car if they were going for me, you know? Um, I wish I saw that the damage was done while I was actually in the garage, because then I would have examined to see if any other car's tires were popped. So I have no idea if the other cars were damaged at all. I wish I knew they don't have cameras in there at all, which really is stupid to not have cameras in a college parking garage, you know? And even if someone was going around and just popping a bunch of tires, they would usually just stab it once and move on, you know? Like they wouldn't sit at each car, stab them five times and then move on to the next car. Like if someone was being like a delinquent or something and just going around slashing tires, they would just go straight down the line and just damage one tire at a time so like this is why i know someone specifically targeted my car and i'm really confused like i expect to feel more scared i'm just more confused than anything like why and how did this happen and there was a solid like two and a half days of time span that it could have happened so it's not even like I could get any clue of when um, I don't know I'm just so confused because if, like I said like if it was a delinquent going around and just popping tires he would go one by one down the line he wouldn't sit at each car and stab him five times I'm just I'm really confused and no other damage was done to my car so I don't I'm I just I have no words, I'm just confused, so. Um, now I'm feeling extra cautious. Hopefully I don't get any other sort of threats or damage done to me. I don't want some A, spooky shit going on. <laughs> and I actually got like someone from the campus security to walk me home. I mean, it was it's literally one block away, but I still got someone to walk me to my dorm because the last thing I want is to be like attacked in the middle of the night, you know? So this is a little bit scary. The more I talk about it, the more I realize that this is a scary situation. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm so confused. I'm just so confused. Maybe, like, maybe it was directed at my car, not specifically me as a person. Maybe I, like, accidentally cut someone off or I took their spot or something and they just, they got angry at my car and was just like, oh, this bitch took my spot. But, like... They would have to have a knife, you know? And it has to be a really strong person to pop a tire. My mom said there was, like, because there was five punctures, like, one of them wasn't all the way through, but it was, like, dented. So she's like, that's probably the first one. Like, they couldn't make it through. And then they started to stab it. Like, it's not going to be, like, a woman who did that, probably. It's going to be a stronger man, um, 
it's a little scary, a little scary. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused, I'm exhausted, I'm stressed, and I all I want right now is to eat popcorn and watch Grey's Anatomy, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll update you guys on the situation. <laughs> Pray for me.